they went too hard with the stage play. Hi everyone, hope you are having a nice time. I'm back with episode 6 review of Ashinoko season 2 so let's get the act started. At first we see the narrator explain the opening events of the Tokyo Blade stage play as it unfolds. Preview stills of the actors and actresses are shown. Taiki and Kana perform their roles with great effort, followed by Melt and the others. Melt delivers an outstanding performance alongside Taiki. After Act 1 concludes, Act 2 begins. Aqua informs the audience that Act 2 will depict the confrontation between the Shinjuku and Shibuya factions, with Shinjuku unified under Blade. Kamashita and Melt then perform their roles. I have no idea if this is how they do stage plays in Japan nowadays. I need to do some research on it, because this looks very interesting, and in my country we still only do traditional style stage plays, so I would love to see something a little new. We see Melt acknowledge Kamashita's talent as an actor despite his reputation as a womanizer. It's revealed that this performance took place sometime before the one shown earlier. During this time, Raida talks with Masaya while Melt and Kamashita are on a break. Raida thanks Masaya for introducing him to Kamashita, praising Kamashita's ability to bring characters to life. However, Raida is unsure why Masaya insisted on Melt's participation in the Tokyo Blade stage play. Masaya explains that he wanted Melt to be involved for personal reasons, believing Melt's acting skills could improve over time. The scene then returns to the present timeline, showing Melt and Kamashita performing the same act. I wonder what's the relationship between Melt and Masaya, because to me it looks much more than a producer and actor thing, kinda like Aqua and the director. Also I wanna see Kamashita's backstory. Moving on we see that in the audience, Masaya remarks that Melt isn't the same actor he was in Sweet today and notes that Melt's harshest critic, Yuriko, is watching him now. Flashbacks show Melt's past experiences as the popular kid, where everything seemed to go well for him. As the play continues, Yuriko observes that Melt isn't capturing the same aura his character has in the Tokyo Blade manga. Kamashita also has issues with Melt's acting, considering downplaying his performance to match Melt's level, which frustrates him. More scenes of Melt are shown, including him watching his Sweet Today performance, running with Kana, and other activities. The audience begins to comment on Melt's performance, finding it lackluster compared to Kamashita's. I understand that Melt had it easy as a kid because of being popular, but I don't get why he got into acting, and his backstory didn't make it very clear either. I mean yeah, a guy scouted him, and Melt decided to go with the flow, but his motives were clear, but maybe I'm just nitpicking here. Next we flash back to a moment where Aqua advises Melt to give his all during one of his role's key moments, sharing examples of scenes that could win the crowd over. Melt takes Aqua's suggestions to heart. In the present, Melt applies Aqua's advice, delivering a strong performance reminiscent of the character he's portraying in the Tokyo Blade stage play. Flashbacks show Melt observing Akane and the other performers, reading the Tokyo Blade manga, and realizing the similarities between himself and his character. I'm no expert in acting, and I don't know how these things work, but I think anyone can tell that if someone can relate to their role or character then they can express things in a much better way, because they will end up mixing their own feelings with the role. At the end we see that in the present, Melk gives it his all, undergoing a mental transition as he performs. His exceptional effort leaves everyone, including Yuriko, amazed. Backstage, Kamashita praises Melt for his performance, and Aqua shares a few words with him. Melt tells Aqua that he genuinely had fun. This part shows just how powerful Melt's acting was. I mean, being able to make the person who despises your acting the most, so amazed with your performance that they tear up, requires something really extraordinary. Overall this was a great episode, and I honestly didn't expect them to dedicate two episodes just for the stage play. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.